What's going on stackers? So in this video you're going to be able to watch me create a colouring book for Amazon KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video you're going to be able to watch me create. You're going to be able to see the process that I go through for creating my colouring books. Now first thing we're going to need is Canva. This is what I use to create my interiors and my covers and everything for my books. Then we're also going to use tangent templates because I use this to get the right dimensions for my books. And then we're also going to use this, this mega giant black line bundle. There's 5,000 graphics and these graphics are perfect for creating colouring books. Now one thing I'll note really quick and that is that Creative Fabrica are having a crazy sale right now with 90% off. Now this usually $16 if you do not have a membership but if we go to here incognito so we can see the price it's only $1.60 for these 5,000 graphics, which is insane. Now, if you want to check out this bundle at any point through the video, there will be a link down in the description below. So, back to here. First of all, we need Canva, and now we need the right dimensions. So this is where Tangent Templates comes into play. Now, what we're going to do is roughly around about 100 pages. Let's say 50 coloring pages, so front and back, Back, having a blank page that's going to be a hundred pages we're going to click no for interior bleed and click click no nope, keep the white paper type just here and now we're going to click continue now what this does is going to spit out all the dimensions that we need for this instance we need the interior so we're going to click on there we're also going to scroll down to Canva and get the right dimensions so right here it's 8.5 times 11 it's exactly that because we haven't chosen bleed. So now let's go to here, custom design, custom size. We'll change this to inches. We'll do 8.5 times 11. And now if we click create design, we're going to have the base for our interior. Now from here, there's a few different things that I do. First one being going to elements and then I click see all and then I get to this little border just here. I like to make that black. And then I like to make the line thinner. So let's just grab the corner, make it smaller like so, and now we can drag. Now another thing that you can do is go here and go to show margins. Now these aren't margins for books or anything like that. I just like to put this there to make sure, if we do this, that just everything's lined up properly. There we go. And that looks about right. So now if we make that click, that's centered. And now we can start designing. Now what we're going to do is probably just create five to ten different pages or coloring pages for our book. We're not going to create the whole book because we would literally be here for so long. So we're going to try and keep it short and just do five to ten pages. Now once I've got this up, this border, border around the outside. In fact, let's just take away those margins now. Let's keep that like that. In fact, that could go a little bit thinner. So let's do that. Drag that to round about there. Drag that up as well. Make sure that's centered. Looks about right. Let's get those margins up one more time. Let's move that over. There we go. Get rid of them. And now let's lock that as well. I want to lock this so we can start designing on top. So now we can start going through the process. I always do this for the first page and then I duplicate. So we're going to take this, duplicate. We're going to duplicate again. In fact, if we click this little arrow, it's going to change the layout. Now from here, we can just keep clicking. So for this instance, you'd have about 50 pages. So I'd go through, keep clicking until I have 50 pages. But for this example, we're just going to stick to 10. And now I have 10 that I can start working on. Now, ideally, this is going to be work, no, this is going to work best if you have some kind of digital stamps. You can find them here just by typing in digital stamps here on Creative Fabrica. 
because there's quite a few sellers that actually sell them, or you can check out this mega bundle. Again, it's only $1.60 for this bundle if you do not have a membership. If you have a Creative Fabrica membership, you can just come in and download this at no extra cost. And if you don't have a membership, but you want to check it out, well, we do also have a $1.30 day free trial as well. Now, if you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. Now, for this video, we're going to use most of these. If we go back over to Canva and click here, we can see all the different folders that I have, and they all mainly came from this bundle. Now, if we take a look, I have Easter, Winter, Magical. Now, let's just go ahead and pick one of these so we can start creating. We have animals, so we have a lot of animals, so that's one that we could do. We have Seaside, we have 106 items in there. So, in fact, let's go with Seaside. Let's just see if there's another wrong one. Let's see if there's another seaside folder so let's go to pretty graphic which is if we keep scrolling which is just here so let's try and find another seaside so we got animals space food ninja more animals so we could do animals misc seaside so i've got another one here so i have two folders right here with seaside graphics now again these are digital stamps now with digital stamps they're transparent with a black and white fill which is perfect for creating coloring pages now if you want more videos about creating coloring pages and creating books and covers and all that good stuff for kdp then come and check out this playlist this is creating books and covers for kdp and you're going to find a lot of great tutorials in here to help you create in books now what i'm going to do is also link this in the right hand corner right now so you can go through and watch now ideally when you go to create a coloring book you should already have what niche you want to create in mind for us this example we're just doing this on the fly so you can see the process of actually starting to create a coloring book now first of all we need the graphics in the niche that we want to create the books around so for this example we're going to use seaside because i have a lot of graphics i have this folder and i have this folder just here and now it just comes down to putting stuff on the page we could take this so this is pretty cool so let's take this let's make it bigger to maybe like that maybe a little bit smaller so let's move that over maybe have that round about there like that we could bring in the sides as we can see let's do that one as well bring it to round about there and then let's start putting graphics on the page to make it look good we could have this little turtle there's a little pink bit there that should be fine that shouldn't make any difference when going to publish the book because we are going to be choosing black and white anyway but i wouldn't worry about that little bit of color but we could have that up here we could then have a fish we could flip that around we could move that down and you can see that already this coloring page is starting to take shape we could in fact we don't want a star we could take this little dolphin i believe move that like so in fact i don't want that one so let's take a different one let's take some bubbles let's take this let's make that smaller let's move this fish over to round about there let's take this and we could have them like that we could make this next one a little bit smaller move that up and then again like so so already it's starting to look good this is just the first page again we're probably going to do five to ten pages depending on how long the video is just so you can see the process of creating coloring books because once you have something like this this bundle these five thousand graphics at hand it's really easy to just create coloring pages as you can see just here now let's take another one of these let's take maybe that no i don't like that one so let's keep scrolling through see what we got we got some glasses there let's keep scrolling from here so let's keep going down we have some shells i quite like that one let's look for one more fish because i don't want to over complicate the design now ideally with these graphics just here these 5000 this is going to be perfect for kids 
kids colour in pages. Now when it comes to creating kids colour in books, there's lots of different age brackets that you can target. You can target preschool, toddlers, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 12. All these different age brackets will have a different level of colouring in skill. So depending on what age bracket you want to create your books around, will depend on how complicated you want the design to look. I'm going to keep these very simple because it would be for a young child. Now let's take one more for this design and let's move on to the next. So what have we have here? Let's keep scrolling. Maybe this seahorse or something like that or the dolphin or the crab. In fact, let's take a look at the other bundle that we have just here or the other folder. This more's, no, this one's more like beach stuff. So let's take a look. We have, oh, I like that. Let's take this. We could move that to here and keep that there. We could move him up a little bit. In fact, let's do that and let's cut off his tail and let's move this over. The bubbles slightly like so. There we go. Let's move this one over as well. And then let's take another graphic. I want something up here, maybe another fish or a dolphin or a whale or something like that. Boat, fish, no. Let's go back to the other one and take a look on here. No, no, no. Let's take this one. Let's flip that and possibly move that over. Let's make that a little bit smaller. We could move him over like so, cut him off like that. And then maybe just something a little bit here, maybe just a little shell. like so. So there we go. There's the first page created. Now what I want to do is take this, we're going to unlock it, and then we're going to push to the front, and then we're going to lock. And there we go. There's the first page. And it looks pretty good. So now let's move on to the next one. So in fact, I don't like having this layout like this. I like to click the arrow down here so I have all of the pages at the bottom. Now let's move on to the second one and see what we can do. Now we could reuse this, but we'd want to make it a little bit different so it's not the same as this one. So let's take this, let's flip this around. Let's move that in. So we just have this corner part and then make bigger. So in fact, we want to move that down. Let's make it bigger like this. Let's possibly move to round about there, maybe a little bit smaller, to like so. And now if we do that, move that in, move this one in as well, this layout is going to look completely different to this one. We flipped that around and made bigger, and now we can design on top of this one. We could have a little seahorse, just like that. There we go, we'll keep that one there. We could have another one, or a starfish. Let's go for this little starfish move him over to there. And then let's just see what else we have. Du, du, du. No, 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 no. Let's keep scrolling. Maybe a little fish or something like this. There we go. Let's take this, move that. We could move that to there as well. There we go. I quite like that. And now I just want a little seahorse. So let's take something. Let's take this one. Let's make him smaller, move him over. Let's take this one. There we go. We could take one more starfish, take that, move him over to here. We'll flip that around and then we could move him like so. Let's keep that one down, move this over a little bit, maybe a little bit smaller, move this one over to fill up the page. And there we go. So let's take that border, unlock, push to the front, lock again, and there we go. That's the second page. So we have one page just here, a second page, and now let's move on to the third. See, as you can see, once you have a library of all of these different graphics, these, let's go on here, that was the wrong one, of all these different graphics, all these different digital stamps, you can see just how easy it is to actually create colouring pages. Now let's move on to the third one. Let's do this one a little bit different. Let's get some text on the page. Let's put something like, now let's go back to here. Let's see what we got. Crabs. So let's type in crab. Let's make this bigger. 
like so. Now I want to put some effects on this. So we're going to go to splice, we're going to go to offset, we're going to go direction to zero, keep these zero. Now we have this, we want to do that inner, color, white, and now we have a coloring in font. In fact, I want to make that thickness just a little bit thinner, like so, maybe 35. We could make this a little bit bigger. And now let's find a good playful font that we have. I have lots of fonts just here. All of my fonts also come from Creative Fabrica. And because I have a Canva Pro account, I can upload all of my fonts into here. Now let's take one of these. I want a real bold one, maybe this Big Shout Bob Slim. Possibly, so let's leave that. And now let's take a crab. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Not too sure about this crab, so let's take a different one. Let's see if we have another. So do I see any more? We have lots of sharks, whales, octopuses. So no more there. Oh, here's one just there. I like that one. So let's take this. In fact, no, let's just do one. I was going to put two on the page, but let's keep it like so. So we're going to keep that there. I can change this font to a different one because I don't really like that one. Crab, I don't like that. Broccoli, there we go. I quite like that. So we could use this font throughout the book and we could name some of the animals. For this instance, this is a crab. So let's move this in like so. Get that centered. And now I just want to crop the image ever so slightly. And then that could probably stay like that. With this, we could add a drop shadow. So I could do that. I could go to effects, none, move behind, transparency, 75, and then just move ever so slightly behind. So let's do that again. Let's just grab the corner, maybe to round about there. Let's push back so it's behind the writing. There we go. So let's actually take this, just move that over ever so slightly, slightly, and we have a crab. Let's take that black border, position to the front, lock, and there we go. Nope, that didn't quite work. Let's take this, push to the back, let's lock, and there we go, crab. So there's lots of different ways that you can actually go ahead and create these types of coloring books. So right here with these three pages, there's two different styles. So if we take a look at this one and this one, this would probably be best suited for anyone six and above. Whereas ones like this with just a simple image and some graphics and fonts, this would be more better suited for like a toddler because it's a simple coloring book. So again, there's lots of different ways that you can go about this. Now let's do two more pages because this video is already at 18 minutes. So let's take some of these. We could do this, move him over. Let's take a little starfish. I don't think that's a starfish, but it does look like one. So in fact, let's just get rid of that. Go back to here. Let's get rid of this. Let's take, let's have a little look. I quite like him, so let's move him up the top. We can flip that round. We can move that in like so. In fact, I don't want that one, so let's take that away. Let's take a look. We have more octopuses, so let's take one of them. Let's move him up to there. Maybe make bigger like so. We can move that behind that fish, so that's all right. Let's take the side and just move that in a little bit maybe make that bigger as well. And then we need something just here. So let's take a, I'm not too sure. So let's have a little look. Nope, nope. Let's just take a little star or this clam. I think that's a clam. Let's flip that around, move to the side like so, and just have that there. And again, this is just a real simple coloring book. Simple coloring books tend to sell pretty well. Let's just take that there maybe move him a little bit smaller, move that to there, move that in. We could potentially make that a little bit bigger and then just bring that up like so. Move that down. Let's take this border, take that, push to the front, and there we go. Now we have a fourth image. Now that's actually not quite down, so let's take that, move to the back, let's take this, pull that down, like so. Let's take this, push to the front. 
and there we go. So that's one, two, three, four. And you can see just how easy it is. But you want all these different types of digital stamps because they're transparent with black and white filled, which means we can layer them on top of each other to make some type of scene. Now let's do one more page. Let's take something like, let's do something completely different. So let's go to the other folder, which we have just here. Let's scroll up. Let's see what we have. So I'm not really liking those ones. In fact, let's take this. We'll take the sun. We can move that up to here. We can then Maybe take a crab, move that like so, and then maybe some type of boat or tree in the background. Let's take this, flip that round. We could have that this side, or we could have that there, and then we could have the sun over in this corner. Let's take this, let's take that, make this a little bit bigger. Push this one to the front, like so, and this is actually looking pretty good. So let's make that sun a little bit bigger, maybe move him over, crop that off as well. Let's take this, make sure that's centered. We could have that just there, and then we could have something just here as well. So let's have a look, see what else we have. We do have an umbrella. No, nope. let's get rid of that. Let's take maybe this little boat, turn that around, make it a little bit smaller, and you can have that in the background like so. Let's maybe just make this crab a little bit bigger like that. Let's take this, move to the back, and there we go. Let's take the border, let's click on there, unlock, position, move to the front, lock, and there we go. Now there's a little bit over on that side, so let's see if we can just move this over. There we go. Let's just keep it like that. But that's how easy creating colouring pages can be. If you have the right tools, the right graphic, it makes things so much easier. So within 20 minutes, we've created around five pages. Ideally, I would spend a lot longer on this, designing, putting graphics together until they look good. For this instance, we have the five pages just here. Now, if this was 30 to 50 pages, I'd then start putting a page in between. So let's take these, let's click on that, move that to there. Now I want to take this border off, like so, and then I'd have that like this, and I'd have that going through the book. So let's get rid of these ones for a second, like so. Let's take these. So from here, I'll duplicate, move along. From here, I'll duplicate, move along. And then I'll do that one more, but I'll do that throughout the book. Now, why is that? Well, this is the front page, and that is the back page. So you want to keep this blank, because when people, kids, colour the pages, it's going to bleed through onto the back page. So having this blank is the best thing that you can do. You don't want graphics or a colouring page on the back of a colouring page, because they just won't be able to colour it in. But this is what I do throughout the whole book. I'd have a colouring page, blank page, colouring page, blank page, throughout. Then, once I have created the whole book, around 50 pages, I'd go to download, click here, click on PDF print, and then I'd click all pages, and then click download, and I'd have my interior. So pretty, pretty simple stuff. But again, it makes things so much easier. If you already have a bunch of these digital stamps, you can find loads of them over here on Creative Fabrica, or you can check out this bundle of 5,000 graphics. There's graphics for Easter, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, Back to School, Woodland Animals, Superheroes. There's so many great graphics just in this bundle alone, with an unlimited amount of ways that you can create your colouring pages, as we can see just here. Now, one thing I did want to note really quick, I actually forgot to say, that that bundle is only $1.60, I already said that, but this is only for February. So if you want this bundle for $1.60, take advantage, go and grab it now. 
before the end of February. Because again, you can make some really nice pages if you start putting in the time to actually create. Now this one doesn't look amazing. I'd have to play around with this. I can play around with this one even more. I could do a book like this or have them like this. There's an unlimited amount of ways for you to create these colouring pages. It all starts with your imagination. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.